whole video came about all because of something that happened three years ago. In 2021, Riley fell playing basketball and injured his ankle quite badly. He's tried many, many ways to fix it over the years, but it's only got worse. But this is where today comes in. We were headed for his ankle MRI at Guy's Hospital. But what's only a true bride away, you ask? Piccadilly Waterstones. And that's where we're headed in today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for some book shopping. I was literally just saying that last time I was here, I was with Bestie Ellen, and I'm not here with her today. I've just got Riley with me, and it's not as fun. I'm gonna tell you that now. But I've already picked up two books. I've picked up The Novel Love Story by Ashley Poston, which is the one that I actually did come here for, and as well as, oh, Love Story. I'm going on a theme here of love stories by Lindsay Kelk. I've never, I don't think I've seen this one before, but I read the premise of it and thought it was quite interesting. So I've picked up those two so far. I am going on a book buying ban after this, so I'm trying to limit my purchases because I have got a load of new books but I'm also trying to get as much as I can at the same time so it's a little bit it's a little bit bad I've also just seen the smallest book I've ever seen in my entire life what is this why do I kind of want it it's a mini Sherlock book how cute is it bad that I kind of want to buy this I might have to a little haul already of these books but I'll show you like a proper little haul when I get back. But I was just thinking this is the first time that I've actually properly seen Throttled traditionally published in the shop. How good is that? Thank you so much. Have a lovely day.
So I'm back home and in the garden and wanted to give a little book haul of all the books I got for this vlog. I managed to get one, two, three, four, five books, which I don't think is that bad. As I said, this is probably the last shopping trip until I go on like a major book buying ban. So I don't think five is too bad. And also one of them isn't for me. So the one book that I actually went in there for, and I was like, I am not leaving without this book in my hands, was a novel love story by Ashley Poston. This is the one book that I wanted the most. It was the whole reason that I went out book shopping. I could have ordered it online, but I was like, I want the experience of going to the bookstore and coming home with this because I've seen nothing but good things. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. And I recently read The Seven Year Slip. And I actually have had The Dead Romantics by her on my TBR since before before the seven year slip went like viral, I didn't realize the significance of that book, but I'm excited to read it. The only reason I haven't is that I want to wait for the like more spooky time to read The Dead Romantics. I'm really excited for this one as well. Every time I see someone post about it or hold it in their hands, I'm like, I need it. So I got that one. Another one that I really desperately wanted, and again was the sole purpose for going on this book shopping trip, was The X Vows by Jessica Joyce. I've heard, again, nothing but good things about this one. This one I was inspired by TK's Library, Taylor, for reading this book. She said that it's one of her favourite books ever, her favourite book of the year so far. And when I heard that and I saw the vibes of it, you know those aesthetic, kind of like book aesthetic TikToks that come up and stuff? I saw one of these about this book and I was like, I need it. It spoke to my soul. <laughs> so I picked up this one as well and it looks so good. Another one that I've seen everyone speak about recently is Summer Romance by Annabelle Monaghan. This is the same author as Nora Goes Off Script, which I feel like I've seen floating around for a little while now, maybe. And then recently all of like the big book girlies have read it. So it's gone absolutely viral again and having its moment. I haven't read that one yet, but I do own it. But I thought I would pick up this one as well because this one looks really, really cool as well. So if you watch the vlog of me going out with Ellen and picking up a specific book for Riley I also bought him the next one in the series today he was like oh I don't know if I want it or not I was like I'm getting it for you because book buying is like my love language and as having someone that doesn't read as like your significant other like my fiance it's a little bit hard so the second he hints that he wants a book I'm like there you go, you can have it. So I bought this one for him as well. This is the fourth book in the Jim Butcher Dresden Files series. And he is currently on book two. He has book three. Or is he currently on book three? So this is the next one, which is why I would get it for him today. That sounds cool. There's loads of them to collect and he's slowly collecting them as he goes. Cause unlike me, he will buy the next book when he reaches it not before he reads the first one. And the last book that I picked up, which I haven't actually heard of before, is Love Story by Lindsay Kelk. I read the description of this while I was in the shop and thought it was really, really interesting. So I'm excited to get into this one. But when I read the back, I read Romance Author and Countryside and was like, this book's coming home with me, as well as the beautiful cover. I thought that is right up my streets. Let you know my thoughts on that. There was definitely a couple more that I could have picked up that I wanted, but I kind of just refrained myself from buying them. I really did want to pick up Play Along by Liz Tom Ford, which is the new Windy City series novel, but I realized that it actually hadn't come out yet. So I was looking for it and I was like, where is it? I've seen the first one and the second one. Even the third one's not here. Where's, where's Play Along as well? And that would be why. Okay, who designed the lids that do this, by the way? Because we need to have words. But yeah, that is my little book haul. I wanted to do a two month ban. I feel like that is an appropriate ban. However, if I tell myself it's one month and then after a month, tick off a box and then do another one it doesn't seem as bad as saying two months i feel like i'm just gonna set myself small goals because i actually haven't really gone out and bought a big book haul in a while so it's not actually that hard it's just that i am such a let's treat myself kind of person hence why i've got so many books but that is what i got for today quite a successful trip if you ask me but if you did enjoy this video then give it a thumbs up comment down below the most recent book that you bought and i will hopefully see you in my next one let's go on this book buying journey book buying journey no book buying ban journey together and see if we can do this i need all of your support right now because it's going to be very very hard <laughs> thanks for watching bye